This is Ian Lamont, founder of Lean Media Consulting and an independent publisher on Amazon for more than 10 years. Today I'm going to talk about how to change the description for a book in Amazon Advantage. If this helps, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. We're looking at the Amazon Advantage, the new homepage, the new design that they have. And basically what we want to do is we want to edit products. I've pinned this to the navigation toolbar. If you haven't done that, go to the hamburger menu, go to items, and then select edit products. And you'll come to this page. This, by the way, is the page that I want to alter, the description that I want to alter. This is one of the books we publish. I have a couple issues here. One is that there's just way too many bullet points here. It's just too long, especially for people on a mobile device. And then also there's a space that's missing after the last bullet and the start of this paragraph. So I'm going to change, make changes on that. So I'm going to, here's the title in question. I'm going to select it, then go to edit product details. The way that it's set up is there are five or six tabs here for each one of the areas with, within the, the product itself, the book. Um, some of them you can't change. So the supplier description, so the vendor code and the vendor SKU, which is an ISBN, I can't change that. You can see there's a lock symbol there. But I can change the product details. Now, this is one of the craziest things with the, with the way Advantage is set up now. You have this tiny window to make changes, and I found that you have to either kind of tab or use the arrow keys to get every to, to see every part of it. But the best way to do it actually is just to copy the whole thing. So I've double clicked on it and selected all the text and then you can use the keyboard shortcuts. So in a Windows that would be Control C and a Mac would be Command C. And then you're gonna pay, you can paste it over to a text editor. And you can see this doesn't look much better better because I have some HTML formatting, but I can do what I need to do. So what I did is I added a HTML break code right there. And then if I wanted to delete some of these, some of these uh, bullets, I could do that. Like LinkedIn's requirement for a complete profile. I'm just gonna get rid of that just by deleting it. So I deleted something there. I added something else here. I could change the, I could change the text. For instance, uh, maybe I wanna have a different reference to the other related books in the series. And basically, I think that's, that's, that's what we're talking about here, just making changes like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this text again, I'm going to cop, I'm going to so I select it all, and then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, or you can go up to the, the menu up here, edit, copy, okay, then go back here, I'm going to go in here and delete everything. And then I'm going to paste it in. So this would be right clicking or using the keyboard shortcut to paste it in. So I just pasted everything in there and I'm done here. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go down here, submit and continue. Now at this point, sometimes I might see an error message or I will see a message like this. Your change request has been submitted. Note that it doesn't say it's been accepted or your changes will be reflected ASAP. What I have to do actually is to go back to this page later on and see if this if the changes have been updated. So. I deleted one of the bullets here, like uh, LinkedIn's requirement for a complete profile. That should be gone, and then there should be an extra space down here. Uh, but it hasn't happened yet. And in my experience, it usually takes hours for this to happen. Sometimes I'll get an error message that says uh, we can't make the changes as requested, and they'll give you a reason, which may be easy to figure out, but may not be easy to figure out. But that's the way Amazon works, as you know. Uh, support for sellers and publishers is not great. Sometimes you can get some talented people on the line or via the a support queue, but other times, you know, you're not, you're not you're not getting any sort of useful response at all. Uh, but anyways, that's the ins and outs of changing the description of a book in Amazon Advantage. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And if you go to leanmedia.org, that's my official website. Click on blog and then search for Advantage, and you'll come up upon all the posts I've done over the years about using Amazon Advantage. This advice on here on the blog is completely free, as are the videos. So hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.